Good morning. Today I want to show you for what purpose I am using this very good Kuturi Italian made pneumatic hammer. Usually it's mainly used for stone, stone sculpturing but in this case here I am uh, just using it also to clean uh, between the stones on a stone wall. Now with the Kuturi pneumatic hammer you have this kind of bags and inside are all kind of chisels. It's all dirty because of the dust. I don't mind. The main thing is that this is steel and I have tungsten and hardened steel and here again this pneumatic hammer which you will see now in application on a wall right now. Also before we use the Kuturi pneumatic hammer is a compressor. I got this compressor here which is powerful enough uh, here is the description you can see I spare you my explanation and we switch it on on automatic so it will refill itself each time there's no more pressure inside here are the valves now if I open a valve here you can see there is already air inside this one now I will just open for the day of the work why is there no sound? Because that pipe here is the air pressure pipe going to the tool and it is already having a valve which stops the air from going out whenever the tool is disconnected. Okay, let's go to connect the tool. Now the compressor is not starting now. Uh, it's connected already to the electricity, to the electricity, but the air pressure is high enough so it will only start when I start to use the tool. Now these compressors you can buy in better hardware shops also in Sri Lanka. Now here we have a quick coupling system which is already a valve which means if I pull it back there's going to be air coming out. Now actually if I push in push inside that thing here of course I must make sure there's no dirt inside and I will put now the pressure till the tool. So now it's connected and we can have a look at the tool now. You can hear it makes a sound because there's always a little bit of air going out, that's normal. <laughs> and there's the chisel which is already pretty much worn out because the stone is very hard. But as I said, now I'm not making a video about hammering stones. I'm making a video just about cleaning in between the stones that kind of dirt which I don't want to have later when I will put some nice uh, mortar there. So let's do this job which is very interesting for other people to do because you don't need a hammer. This is so easy to disconnect that thing. I can talk to you again. I want to show you uh, how this is supposed to be done when you don't have uh, a pneumatic hammer. You can do it like this if you don't have electricity at all and no power generator and no compressor and no Italian tool. But it's really a pain and why not to use the technologies of the 21st century to do this. So here is an example of a wall which is already plastered uh, in the way we would like it to be in the end. So this is a lime mortar with a mixture of uh, red brick powder to it. And here is still the ugly grey Portland cement which we don't want to see. Now this is actually deep enough already. I wouldn't have to dig much more. You can see that all the edges of the stones have been polished to make them look more nice. 
This is something I will also show you how to do it. And, and here on top we have some critical areas which I will just clean right now for you to show how efficient is that tool and you don't damage the stones and you don't ruin the other sides of the mortar even if you work very close to the finished areas. Okay, let's go. Let's don't get sand in there. Let's go. Now comes the next stage, it's grinding the stone into some more nice shape. This looks really too rough to my face. I put the face mask because it's dust, it's a lot of dust. And I have that shield which is actually for COVID-19 people here and sold in the pharmacy. Turns out to be very efficient, you have some ventilation in front of your face. I like it for that purpose. So let's go and try to get this stone. Uh, look nice and Diamond grinding blade is finished that was looking like this before and it looks like this after I'm done with the job now I cannot even remove it. It's very difficult. I need another grinder to cut it off It's blocked so that happens You see it has to fit, you have to choose the right size. This is a 4.5 inch uh, size of hole. Wait, I removed the mask to talk to you. Now I'm uh, fixing this diamond coated steel grinding blade. I push on the locking button. I have my key here to make that thing tight enough, that's tight enough, and we can actually start to work with it. I'm removing a little bit of the dust to see more clear what still needs to be removed, polished and whatever. Now here will be put the mortar of course, huh? I mean in the areas which are already <coughs> having uh, the rounded edges. This I still need to work on it. And the upper part will be full plastered. Now this frame looks terrible because we're going to plaster it with mortar lime in the style of a Roman uh, kind of house temple, so it's going to be just straight plaster here. The stones are just support for the plaster. Same for here. So this, don't look at this as a stonework. The lower part we use, I carve something in here to make it look like a recycled ancient part of something which was of higher cultural level than this crude block of stone. And here are our little residence which are trying to get out now because they don't have any more cookies. Okay, there you go. You go, my dear. Huh? <laughs> ah, very high, huh? Hey, jump, jump, jump. Now, he, he knows me. He knows me. I don't know if it's she or he. He knows me. He's not scared of me. He's always passing his way. 
and now it's very dangerous here until we have built you a small uh, toad house uh, I'll have to put you in exile excuse me Mwah. how do you like this one <laughs> I hope you appreciated this little presentation about kuturi tools combined with a grinder. Now I will have to put some oil in my tool. I will fill it in here, just any kind of type of engine oil I do. Uh, used one or new one doesn't matter. If you use used one, it's going to make your gloves black because the oil is slowly going through the cylinder out again. So see you for the next video on another subject similar to this one. Oh. 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 Oh.